What's up guys, it's Mark from Erickson Machine. Today we got a video showing off a tool that we recently purchased. Well, I actually bought it a while ago. I've been testing it. Um, it is a Wintact, Wintact WT100A. This is a tool I purchased with my own money. This was not sent to us or given to us in any way, shape, or form. So it's just something I wanted. We had an old one that died on us. And to be honest with you, I actually purchased three of these because the first two I got I wasn't happy with, and I ended up with this. So I'm going to give you what I think about it, how I like it, and you guys can decide if you want one. So let's get started. Right, guys i'd also like to take a second thank everybody that went to ericksonmp.com and got merch it really helps with the channel thank you very much and let's get on to the video so i've had one of these i had a cheap one before i had it for i don't know five or six years and it died um i bought another one these tools can range anywhere between like 50 and 2000 bucks this one, I think was 150 bucks, something like that. So definitely on the cheaper end of the tool. But the other one I had, which worked great until the battery died on the inside of it and killed it, also worked great. So, and for the amount that I use it, I don't need a $2,000 tool. So basically what this does is it ultrasonically checks thickness. So it uses this probe and then you put basically ultrasonic jelly on it. You can also use cooking oil, stuff like that, and it can measure the thickness. What I have found with these in general is they're accurate within around 5,000, something like that, which for the most part is more than good enough for what we're doing. So what ends up happening sometimes on some of these cylinders is one, especially on like the Cowie 440 and 550s, more on the 550, they can get thin in certain spots of the casting that you can't really get to to measure the thickness. So the only way to check that is with an ultrasonic thickness gauge. The other thing is Kawasaki 750s and 850s, um, also the Kawi 900 and 1100, and a bunch of other companies that have cast in cylinders. The cylinder isn't the same thickness all the way down. so. I've done a porting video where I kind of showed this off before, but this is a Cowie 650 cylinder that we cut in half, and you can see this is the way the liner is. So, you know, if you see from the top, you see this thickness, but it's significantly thinner because that's just the top. Then there's a thick part and a thicker part, and then it gets thin again. On these Cowies, they normally crack around here. So... And the tricky thing with a cast in cylinder is when they're cast in, they're not always perfectly in the center. Um, so, I don't know, if you look at this, if you see here is smaller than up here. So technically the sleeve is slightly off-centered where what can end up happening is when you start to get near max bore, it can get too thin. So with a tool like this, you can actually check the thickness and be fairly safe that what you're doing is going to be okay. Now, the caveat to that is you also need to know where the problem areas are and where they crack, you know, or you literally have to go around it everywhere to see where it is. So, but like just to show you, if we go on this right here and check a measurement. So we're reading, uh, I tipped it. So there we go. So 207, 201. And then if we go check it with a caliper. So we're 195. So we're within you know, seven thousandths of the actual size. Now on, on this, you know, this is a stock bore. 
really it, it starts to become tricky when you're down at the bottom sometimes when you're one mil um, on that particular cylinder. On the Cowies, you know, when you get to 81 or 82 millimeters, you can have that same issue. So if you notice, there's a couple spots. Let me see if I can find the spot and show you on the tool what exactly is going on. Let me see, can you see that? I think you can. So if we go here, we're 187. find one of the thick spots no, we just found one at 260 there we go we're right at the that ridge of the sleeve so as you can see it depending on where on that cylinder we are we range from like 150 to 260 so now you know, once again, this is a stock bore cylinder, but when we start to get bigger, that size difference matters. You know, same thing if we go on to something like this. Oh. So, 33, and I think it's 28, 25. So, within eight thousandths. But as you can see, to get end. The other nice thing with this tool, which you can do, is you can go into the calibration settings and mess with it and test the piece of metal that you have, check it, and modify the calibration setting to get it perfect. Personally, as long as I'm within five or ten thousandths, um, I know I'm good enough for what I'm doing. And if I am getting super close to one of the numbers, it is time to have a conversation with the customer if we're going to do what we're going to do. It's a cool tool. I will put a link down below if you guys want to buy it. It's an affiliate link. It helps the channel out. Um, as I said, I bought a few of these. This is the one I like the most. Um, as you can see, it's been around the shop for a while at this point. Um, I had bought one which was recommended by a buddy that he has. It died within like a week. I bought another one, which I just saw good reviews. That died within a week. And at that point, I bought this one, I don't know, three or four months ago. Maybe even longer than that. And I've used it a handful of times now. Now I know it's not going to die on me. So now's when we're doing the full video. One last quick thing. The other nice thing with this unit is, one, it comes with a charger. Two, it comes with the ultrasonic jelly stuff, which a lot of them don't. And they just tell you to use cooking oil. Um, I will say the jelly works way better um, and my old tool I used um, cooking oil as well with it. Um, I will from now on be using the ultrasonic um, jelly stuff which I think they use for people as well. I think it's the same stuff. Don't quote me on that but um, this is a really nice kit where it comes with everything. The other cool thing is it comes with a nice box that's small and doesn't take up a lot of room the other one that i had was like twice the size and when you start to get the amount of tools i have you know the box being larger than it needs to be is definitely not something i'm a fan of so hopefully you guys like the video thanks for watching oh. stay have a great day so if you guys like videos like this please like share and subscribe and have a great day. Thanks for watching, guys.